What's up fam and welcome back to my channel or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary and that is the very sleepy Capitan. He will be in the back of this video as I film it. Um, so a lot of you guys recently have been telling me that you are either planning or have gotten a new Rottweiler puppy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, so awesome. Um, Rotties are an amazing breed and I love to see a Rottweiler out on the streets. But you guys have also asked me to do a video on the things you will need to be prepared to have a Rottweiler puppy, which that is some good dog parenting already right there. Thumbs up to you guys. Um, it is so good to do research, be completely, completely prepared before your animal, any kind of pet comes home. Uh, I say that to everything, if you get a reptile, if you get a dog, to have everything prepared so when that animal comes you are ready and set to go um so yeah this video is just going to be helping you become a successful rottweiler puppy mom uh to be um i do want to say that please do more research beyond this video um i'm just going to touch base on the things that you need but uh yeah i'm no professional or expert whatsoever do more research um to even think if you are thinking about getting a rottweiler they are a lot. They are a very smart breed. Um, they're not for everybody. They're not for everybody's lifestyle. So do your research, figure that out. And also if you are prepared to be responsible for a dog for hopefully 15 years. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and be your parent and tell you about the responsibilities, but let's just jump into this video. Uh, let's say that you are a already found your Rottweiler, you found your breeder. Um, I did do a video a while ago on how to find a Rottweiler breeder. I will link that one below. I'm not that much help because <laughs> my friend bred my Rottweiler. She was like five minutes away. I get into that whole detail in that video below. But yeah, finding the right breeder is very, very, very important due to the behavior and health issues that might come along in the future. One thing that my breeder did give me, which I thought was pretty cool that I didn't really think about, was she did give me um, a blanket that came from Capitan's pack. So it smelled like his mom and his little baby brothers and sisters. So I put this with him for the first like four or five nights so you could kind of smell with them so you didn't feel too alone, but that was really nice to have as well. Just say you already uh, did your research, you found your breeder. Next, I would say, usually like for me, I had a month to get prepared for everything. Um, so my next thing was what veterinarian I was going to go to. I Googled a lot and I also want to say that if you pick out a vet, to have it pretty close to you due to an emergency. You don't want to be sitting in traffic. You don't have to drive somewhere. My vet's about five minutes away. Um, I did a lot of Google research, talked to people that actually went there. So finding that right vet because once you get your puppy, you're going to need to do puppy shots. You're going to need to do a lot. So also you think like, okay, I just spent, you know, a thousand plus dollars on my Rottweiler. I'm all good to go. No, you're still going to have to probably cash up about like $500. I mean, at least in California for like the puppy shots and everything. So that leads me to the next thing I suggest you guys get, and that is dog insurance. And I suggest you get that as soon as you can, because it takes like a month in advance for it to all process and whatnot. But like I said, puppies are going to be expensive, whether they don't have any health issues at all, because they're going to need all their shots. So if you can look into a pet insurance, that will help you save a bunch. Um, I do have a pet insurance that I use and I will highly recommend nationwide. Um, I've been using that forever and have always got money back. Um, it's just a good emergency go-to. Uh, he's broken nails. It costs a lot of money. Thank God for my insurance. So yeah, next thing is to look into an insurance for your puppy. All right, so my next suggestion is to actually get your house ready for this puppy. Um, figure out the section it's going to be in. Uh, you do not want your puppy to have full range of the house. You need to have some confined little areas for him. Um, when it comes to like 
footage of Gabby Chen as a puppy. I have none. I don't have any, but I can kind of show you guys the idea of like the sections I kept them in. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. And if you guys could imagine. So for him as a puppy, I tried to give him as many like sections. So he didn't have the free roam of the whole like backyard just because I was always afraid he would get into something. And so yeah, he had, he only had like a limited area. So he had all of this and then I imagine a like a metal fence. I had lined right here. So there's like a metal fence blocked. So he had this much area and then there was any, there was no plants right here before. So that is where he would go to the bathroom at. So like in the morning time when we get up, he would just run straight to his little dirt area and that was his like go-to spot for at least like I think like four months I had him like at least blocked out until I eventually let him go to the corners to use the restroom so that was kind of like if you guys can imagine how it had you guys are probably wondering what I did with him when I left the house so I just put like a fence right here and he had uh all this little area and then I would put a puppy pad down just in case he couldn't hold it or have an accident or whatever, but he actually never used a puppy pad. He just liked to use the dirt. So this was kind of like his little hallway that I left him in when I would leave him for a few hours. Just being prepared, having like where he's going to be eating at, where his bed's going to be, he or she. Um, just kind of getting your house puppy proofed. Uh, anything they'll put in their mouth. So you don't want any choking hazards. You just really got to think like a puppy, I guess. Uh, get down on the ground and even if you have any kids with Legos or anything, like, yeah, I highly suggest you get that house puppy proofed. I love this book by Caesar Milan. It was uh, How to Raise the Perfect Dog. And this is just basically getting you prepared to be a pack leader. Um, it made me open my eyes in a lot of different ways. He just, it's really easy to read, so I read it like super quick. Um, it just gets down to the point. It helped out so much. Um, there's, I could, I probably could have read this and just going over all the keys because I just basically went off of this book and helped me so much. So yeah, I love Caesar Milan. <laughs> all right, now for like all the fun stuff when it comes to a puppy. Um, I had the best time trying to find a collar for Crappy Ten, so you will need a collar, a dog tag. Um, I don't have the harness that I used for him because I gave that away to the Humane Society after he grew out of it. But I did have a training pulling harness for him and I will link that up below or I'll just put a picture right now for you guys to see. Um, that was a harness that I used for him as a puppy. I really try to stay away from the choke chains. I did use it at one point and we don't use that anymore at all. But um, yeah, you need to get some good walking gear because it is important to start getting your puppy to learn how to walk. Also did have a little glow in the dark ball for him and I will link a picture of that right now here. A little glow in the dark ball was just easy for me to find him if I let him run around the backyard. I have a big backyard. Uh, if we went on late night walks, you could kind of see him just because Rottweilers are so dark, you kind of want to have some light on them. So unnecessary but kind of a good idea to have to have capitan chipped and he has like all that information as well on here um he got chipped when he did his first shots of puppies ran uh, first round first puppy shot round i got him chipped uh that way god forbid he got out of the yard anything he was chipped and uh, he can come back to my house i highly suggest all your dogs get microchipped it is for their safety here are some goodies I highly recommend you pick up as well. Some disposable dog bags. You never want to be that person that leaves a nice fresh poop on somebody else's lawn. So yeah, those are always a good go-to. Some raised water bowl and food bowl dish for your Roddy. Highly recommend a dog bed. That way your dog could have its own little spot to chill and kick it. There's just so many good reasons for them to have their own bed. Whatever you choose to feed your dog, it is your own personal choice. But for me, I decided to use Pure Vita dog food. I did some research and just really liked everything about it. This was an all life stage uh, formula, so he has been on it ever since he was a puppy till now. 
All right, so there are a little bit of some grooming things you could buy. Uh, this is a good way to start bonding with your Rottweiler and just starting them to get used to normal dog things that they're gonna have to get used to. Um, if you don't do it consistently and your Rottweiler doesn't like it, they're not gonna let you do it. Like, it's just gonna be a battle. So I suggest you do all these things in the beginning while they're young and smaller to get them used to it. Um, I highly suggest you start brushing them at a young age. Uh, I had this kind of spiky little, can you kind of brush one? I also have a Dremel. Um, some people don't like nail clippers, but like that was Capitan's biggest thing as a puppy. He hated his nails um, getting clipped, which he still kind of does to this day, does not like it but it's just something we have to do if we can't get them filed down all the time by walking him. Um, so yeah, that would be my number one suggestion is to really get your dog used to their nails getting touched, clipped. Uh, they have those black nails, so it is kind of hard to get used to. Um, I do have a video of me trimming Capitan's nails and how I got him used to it. He was terrible before and I will link that video below for you guys too. Um, another thing I would highly suggest when it comes to grooming is to get them used to brushing their teeth. Some dogs absolutely hate their mouths getting touched. Um, Capitan's super cool with it because I started with him as a very young dog. Uh, this is just, I think, coconut flavor. And I would use a human's toothbrush and um, kind of straddle them like a horse and just get into there. I have a video of that as well. That will help you out too kind of teach your dog to get used to it because it, dental health is a very big, important thing. Um, Captain has some pearly whites and I have the insurance to like get him to go do like a whole dental surgery cleaning, but my vet's like, girl, he doesn't need it because his teeth are so clean. So I highly suggest you get on the cleaning schedule with the teeth. <laughs> You guys are always asking me what dog brand shampoo I like, and currently this is what I've been using and I really like it. As a puppy, Capitan did develop some puppy acne, and um, it does happen to some Rottweilers. Some are Rottweilers, not all. Um, I try to do all, I try to look up like all the natural ways to try to get rid of it, and none of that went through. So my vet did prescribe me some of these acne puppy puppy wipes. Um, they literally are like little wipes like a human would have for their skin. And this helped dry them out and clear them out because it was so bad, red and puffy. I think it was due to him um, eating his dog food and he would get like some of that leftover grease, I guess you would say, I don't know, leftover stuff in his chin that I wouldn't wipe out that would build into bacteria. Rottweilers are known to get that puppy acne. Um, so if you can try to just start cleaning that right away, um, right after the eat. And once I started doing that, no more puppy acne happened. But if you, can't, if you can't control it and it's just like you see those pimples, it's probably, it's really painful for them. So I would suggest you go see your vet and hopefully they can give you something as easy as an over-counter little wipes for them. All right, so I know for like the first few months, you cannot give them flea medicine as a puppy. So I highly recommend you guys start getting some flea combs uh, because Capitan was born in the summertime and the fleas are after him and I could not give him any flea medicine. I know there's some like spray that is like non-toxic that has some essential oils that's good for dogs that you could spray on them to help the ticks not get on them. but or fleas or whatever, but they were bound to still get on Capitan until he hit that mark where he was old enough to take that flea medicine. I obviously gave it to him, but this baby I was using all the time and that is a flea comb. So Capitan wasn't a very big chewer. Um, he didn't chew my furniture, but I heard a lot of horror stories. So I prepared myself for if he was going to be a chewer or what I was going to do. So hopefully this can help you. Um, like I said, he wasn't a chewer, so I have a lot of it, but you could buy this bitter cherry spray and you spray it on whatever they chew and it tastes nasty and they won't ever chew it again. I mean, it worked for a bunch of other of my friends. Um, Capitan did like to chew his leash a lot and I sprayed it and he didn't like that. Um, I've heard of like remedies of like hot, hot sauce and stuff, but I just went for this spray, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you could buy this like at Walmart or Petco or PetSmart, but this uh, can help with anything if they're chewing a lot. 
coffee. You will need some blankets, some beds. Um, a lot of you do ask me if I crate trained him and my intentions were to crate train him, but that, that didn't work out. Um, I failed at that, but there is a lot more. I should have done a lot more research into it. I don't have a problem with him now. He is fine in the house. He sleeps on my couch, on my bed. He was fine as a puppy. I got really lucky with him, but I do suggest some people look into crate training if they are gone for a long time and don't have like a section to put your dog. Um, crate training is always great as well. So my last suggestion would be to get some good sturdy toys for your Roddy. Um, Capitan was definitely going through some chewing stages. Those puppy teeth were coming out. So I really like the bully sticks. Um, yeah, you can look up what they are. They're kind of nasty smelling, but they really got him, his mind off of everything else that he wanted to chew and just chew that. Um, there are some really dangerous rawhides out there that you need to be careful of. Some that the dogs really can't digest. I one time made a bad mistake of buying Krapton, like a cheap one from Petco, and he tried to swallow like this thick down and he was choking. I get very careful when it comes to rawhides, especially with a Rottweiler puppy. Um, usually the ones from like boutiques are super safe for your dogs, but you gotta be careful uh, with any little toy. They have such a big mouth and yeah, you just gotta be really careful with that. So having the right size toys for your Rottweiler and having them not being, uh, I suggest, you know, the stuffies, if your Roddy is gonna be one that's like destroying stuff, that stuffing in um, a toy is deadly to dogs. Um, it can get stuck in their intestines and blockage and could pretty much just kill your Rottweiler or kill any dog if they get that stuffing and you don't have the time to go to the vet to get it properly emergency taken out. So yeah, I would suggest not that much of toys that have a lot of stuffing in them. Um, I got lucky that Capitan never like destructively destroyed any toys where the stuffing would come out, but um, I've heard of some horror stories and it never ended good. You suggest you get them some type of bone, something that you want, something for them to go to um, so they don't chew on anything else. Like you need to do the Kongs. The Kongs helped out so much with, we did peanut butter and froze them and that kept him super occupied. <laughs> you need to keep these Roddies occupied. Um, you need to have a schedule, maybe a little walking schedule to get them tired. It's like gonna have a, like you're gonna have a baby and your life's gonna be kind of turned up for a while. <laughs> the first week of having your puppy is definitely going to be a little bit rough. They're going to miss their pack because they're used to all being next to each other, the smell of their mom. They're just looking for where all the brothers and sisters are. So it's not you, it's just them trying to adjust. So take it easy. I promise you it will get better within the, the time and it'll be completely worth it. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, do not forget to hit the thumbs up, comment below if I forgot to touch base on something. Um, also, if you are new to my channel, please, please subscribe. If you love Roddy's, I post so much about him all the time on videos talking about him, so it would be awesome. Um, until the next time, I will see you guys. Bye. <laughs>